Hello, welcome to this video. This video, we've got a nice little update from the American version of QuickBooks, which means we don't have it quite yet in the UK, but I'm pretty sure we'll be coming into the UK at some point. And that is all to do with chart of accounts and gives us the power to be able to go in and basically copy a set of a chart of accounts from one to another and use an import and export tool as an accountant. I can't wait to have a look at it. Let's go and see how this works and see if it's any, gonna be any good for you in your practice. Hello, my name is Aaron Patrick. I'm a chartered accountant, a certified UK trainer of Fancy New Logo, that QuickBooks chap on the internet, head of accounts here at Boffix, and also your friendly podcaster who goes live each and every Monday morning at 8.30 a.m., for Ask the Accountant. Now, today's video is we're going to be looking at a brand new feature that's rolled out in America, which we believe is going to be coming to the UK pretty soon. And that's all about chart of accounts and importing them in. Let's go and have a look at it. So in this particular client in front of me, I don't really have anything involved in the chart of accounts. In fact, it's really bare bones. Um, brand new client, not really put anything in terms of what the actual type of client is or anything like that. Um, yes, I could go through adding new chart types of accounts here using our brand new chart of accounts. Uh, created just here, but there's a better way, or a brand new way, should I say. If I go back to my accountant area, and I have a look at the tools section, you'll notice that for the tools section, I now have COE templates, so chart of accounts templates. Now, what this means is I can add a new one, and I can decide what type it's going to be. I can see if it's product-based or service-based. So let's say I'm creating a new one for the service one and I can go in and I can create my brand new one. So you can add as many as you want. You can even include account numbers if you want to. You can say what the template's gonna be. So I'm gonna do test. Um, and then you can add new sub accounts as well. So maybe this is a petty cash. Um, and I can do detail types, making sure that that's right. So that should be cash on hand. And down here, maybe legal and professionals, I can add one, I can call it accountancy fees. Um, and then again, make the legal and professionals create. Um, I can add a new parent account. So I can say, look, I want to be making sure going forward that I'm keeping on top of all my rent. And it's going to be an expense. And it's going to be office and general administration expenses. Let's just, uh, rent or lease of buildings. There we are. I thought I was doing a different one. And I can even do copy of them and delete them. And I can you know, it's going to give me lots of options here to go in there. And I can pretty much set this exactly how I want this to be. Then when I press save, that template is now going to be available. Now, what options do I have? Well, I can duplicate it if I then want to make maybe a couple of changes to it and tweak it a little bit. I can delete it if I'm not happy with it at all. Or I can go back and edit if I want to. It won't affect the existing account. It will only affect ones that you're going to add in there. But I can go and change these if I want to. Now, what that means as well is I can apply the template and I can go and find the client. So it's going to be, I'm going to go find budgets, which is the one we were just in, press save. So remember there was nothing in the chart of accounts before. Well, now I can go into that client, go down to the accounting area, go to chart of accounts. And now I've got all of my new chart of account there. I've got the petty cash, which is a sub account in this case. I've got my accounting fees at a sub account and all those other ones have been added. So now if I was going to go in and do something like, you know, budgeting, for example, that we looked at in our last video, then I can go in there and I can go into it and now I'm going to have much more options to play with, much more lines to go through so that actually I can start making this much more meaningful as I go along. So that is your new chart of accounts tool. They're calling it chart of accounts templates and it gives you the opportunity to be able to bring those templates up and put it from there. Now, one thing I would like to see, let's go and add a new template, create from scratch is your option, uh, product based. Okay, so two things that I would love from this. First one is give us an option to be able to maybe bring a template, a chart of account from an existing client. So if you've got lots of hairdressers, for example, you may have a particular hairdresser you know has got an absolute beautiful chart of account. Having the option to be able to bring that through would be really powerful, right? So that would be my first bit there. My second bit that I'd like to see 
is the option for us to be able to upload a chart of accounts from elsewhere. So if we're not able to just pick a particular client, let us download a set of chart of accounts already and then upload them directly from here, giving us the opportunity to be able to, you know, really speed up the process. I'm nitpicking at this point because once you've done this one set of templates, it's not gonna be too difficult then to go through and kind of delete them and start them again sort of thing. So is it the end of the world? Probably not, but it would be nice to uh, have those options to go through and do that. But other than that, absolutely brilliant. We used to have a chart of accounts template type idea way back when, about five or so years ago, but it's really buggy. It was lived in QuickBooks Labs. Now we can see this coming to the main product. Really happy, really great to see this. And I'm really looking forward to start getting this in the UK so that we can start bringing this to life and start utilizing it. I can see a lot of benefits from using this. Um, I just really can't wait to use it. But what do you guys think? Is it something you're gonna use? Is it something that you think is right? Have they got it right? What, when you saw me quickly creating items like that, did you feel like I was on top of what I was doing? Should I have been doing something a little bit different? Let me know in the comments below. Do you think this is gonna be a useful addition to you and your practice? Or do you think this could be a bit of a waste of time? I'd love to know your reactions below. So far for me though, absolutely love this one. We've had some great new updates lately through QuickBooks, especially over in America. So again, I'm just so excited for these to come to the UK product. But what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Any other questions, let me know in the comments below or anything else, then do reach out to me. As always, if you're looking for QuickBooks tips and tricks, you're already in the right place. So make sure you subscribe, like, and all that sort of stuff. And I will probably more than likely see you in the next video. Bye for now.